live over at Saints camp in Metairie. He heard from all three and he has more on the firing of head coach Dennis Allen. Jared. Well, Richie, the main question to ask before getting to anybody who spoke is if Dennis Allen had done enough during his time here in the black and gold to maintain his job or if the injuries have been enough of a scapegoat to allow DA to stay in the black and gold. Now, until this past Sunday, the answer has been yes. However, a loss to the worst team of the entire NFL, the Carolina Panthers, ultimately dooms DA becoming the final nail in the coffin for his time here in New Orleans. Now, look, Dennis Allen has tried over the last seven games to lead lead this team to a win, a team without its top offensive linemen and now its top two pass catchers. Nonetheless, though, Dennis Allen has come up short seven straight times. And although the players do not like it, two New Orleans natives, one from St. Aug and one from Jesuit, understand why the Saints have fired their head coach. As a kid growing up, right, you get through the whole week and then we was always looking forward to Sunday because we knew the Saints was playing and we knew we could go get some food like somebody in the neighborhood was watching the game. I can absolutely feel, you know, their frustration. They work hard to, to be a part of it, to, to buy tickets and to buy jerseys. And we look forward to the Saints brightening our week. We look forward to LSU, you know, brightening our week. And we just, we, I mean, we totally, you know, just dropped the ball. If you come into work and you find joy in, in your head coach getting fired, shame on you. I can't say the same for a fan. I know we have a bit of a split fan base in that regard. I understand that. And in the end, results weren't there. And so something had to be done. We're going a different direction, obviously. And, and I understand that. And then if I was in that role, I would expect the same thing. And, and, and the end result now, though, is that after the seven game losing streak, Dennis Allen is now seven games under 500, 18 and 25, as you've said, Richie, during his two year tenure here in New Orleans. Jared, are you a little surprised we didn't hear from general manager Mickey Loomis or owner Gail Benson? I know they released a couple of statements earlier today, but it felt like if anyone was going to address this issue, it had to be one of them. Oh, most definitely, and you have taken the words right out of my mouth about surprise. But another word I must add is a bit of cowardice, not on Gail Benson, but on Mickey Loomis. Mickey Loomis stood up here in the Saints facility just earlier in the year following the Saints season in 2023, talking about how Dennis Allen is the right man for the job while chewing his gum in the entire press conference for a cough. He only coughed one time, by the way, during the pressure, so I don't know what was in that piece of gum, but it did him very well. Nonetheless, though, this man stood in front of the media comparing Dennis Allen to Bill Belichick and some of the other greatest coaches of all time in the history of the National Football League. Obviously, you zoom past it now. He is no longer the head coach. You have to stand in front of the media and answer for what you have had to do due to his inability to get this team wins. And that is the biggest blemish so far today is that we did not hear from Mickey Loomis.